So it's been two months since we did a battle between Google Stadia and Project X Cloud. Has anything changed? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are back looking at Google Stadia versus Project X Cloud. Two months after, has things changed? Is one better than the other? Is Stadia much better now? Well, we know there are a lot, there's a lot of stuff with Stadia in the news right now, but let's get down to the nitty gritty of both of them. Now, starting off with Stadia, if you don't know about what Stadia is, it's a game streaming service from Google. We did a comparison with xCloud last, uh, about two months ago. Definitely go check it out and see uh, at least how it functions and works. But just a brief summary for you, Stadia is a game streaming service. You do have to pay for the premium version now. The free version is not available which you have to spend $129 for a Chromecast, a controller, uh, but gives you an ability to play on your TV, supposedly at 4K60. Then you can play on, of course, your Pixel device, which is the only smartphone available for play right now with a controller tethered to it. And you can play off the Chrome browser on your Mac, PC, or laptop. So you do have the ability there as well. Now, uh, comparison to xCloud, xCloud is strictly streaming from, uh, of course, Microsoft servers to right now your Android smartphone or tablet. So it is open into the Android ecosystem. They did say iOS is coming, but it's limited just to smartphones. Now, when it comes to uh, what you need for internet speeds, Google Stadia says you need 35 megabits per second. Uh, Microsoft says you need roughly around that, also between 35 to 40. Now, Microsoft is promising 720, 1080p on your mobile device. Google says 4K 60 uh, on your TV at 35 megabits per second. Uh, and you know it varies from there from that point. I would say this from this point, uh, Google Stadia cannot do 4K 60 at 35 75 megabits per second, which is what I have, you th probably need about 100 megabits per second, which makes a lot of sense with the new deal that Stadia has with Verizon Fios, where Verizon has a mix and match um, new deal where you can mix gigabit uh, ethernet from uh, Verizon Fios with say YouTube TV or you know uh, a TV service of their own, or just go gigabit ethernet uh, and you get Google Stadia for free. So that is probably the best way I would recommend getting Stadia right now, but hey, that's just me. Uh, but that is something to do with the speeds. And I've noted this quite well while playing Stadia on my TV that I have not been able to get 4K 60 at all. I've been able to get 1080p. And I will say over the last two months, they've improved the service where games are running less glitchy. I've noticed fewer and fewer glitches in my gameplay and also my input lag has really reduced especially for destiny on pc now among all three platforms to play stadia i think pc is still the best playing on pc on chrome has been the best and using keyboard and mouse has been the best input for me uh, followed by pixel and last of course the tv itself now when it comes to project x cloud though x cloud is a little different it's strictly a mobile and what you have here is the ability to stream games from microsoft servers now when you compare the two in terms of the amount of games available x cloud now has 84 games it started at 50 while stadia is at 28 so one again is a service you pay for with stadia and one is a beta with project x cloud so that's a very clear difference now when you add the ability to also stream directly from your console, then you expand the amount of games you have. So whatever games you have in your console, in my case, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I can stream that directly from my console, or I can tap into, of course, Xbox Game Pass, which adds more to that as well. Now, using Xbox Game Pass, you have to pay for that and pay for games. And speaking of game pricing, this is another thing that comes to play. Stadia game pricing is expensive. A lot of the games are older and still expensive, and they package a lot of premium um, uh, games and premium game bundles, which are for old games in comparison to what you have on xCloud. Just xCloud itself, not streaming from your console, which those games are free. You get games like uh, 
you know, Devil May Cry 5, you know, Borderlands, uh, you have, of course, uh, Tekken 7, you have Gears franchise, you know, uh, you also have Gears 5, you have Halo. So a lot of games that most people will want to play are on Nextcloud. Plus, you can tap into your own library as well. So again, there's that factor that comes into play right here. Now, in terms of smoothness and gameplay, xCloud has gone much smoother as well. Very little slowdowns I've noticed, and I think it's become much smoother over time. Um, and also choppiness has been greatly reduced. There is no input lag. And when you compare them on the mobile side, um, Google Stadia requires the controller to be connected via USB, while of course xCloud can use a Bluetooth controller or multiple controllers in this case. So you can use, of course, your Xbox controller. Uh, they've talked about using the PS4 controller uh, with an update coming soon. You can use Razer controllers like, of course, the Jungle Cat and the new Kishi, which will be coming out soon. So there are multiple arenas to actually use this quite effectively. And I think that's where the difference still lies. Even though both services have improved in terms of uh, functionality, uh, I, in one end, you do have a beta service with Project X Cloud that says 720p, maybe 1080p gaming. It's achieved that, and also it's achieved a lot of the things they've talked about, plus giving you access, of course, to your own games. And then you have a full-fledged paid service, which hasn't achieved that uh, in terms of the resolution. It says it can meet at 4K60, haven't experienced it at least one time. Uh, and it also hasn't achieved a lot of the features that they promised. Uh, for instance, they did say Body Pass, which has now finally come, so you can actually share uh, your your experience with Stadia with a Body Pass to a friend. But YouTube Stream is not available. Uh, you know, having a multi uh, chat capabilities is not available either. Um, so there are a lot of things that are built into the console gaming experience that is still not there that I'm waiting to see from both. Now, I would say for me. XCloud still wins, but Stadia has something that it can prove. I know right now everyone is pretty much down with it on it, and I think there have to be some major changes coming down the pipeline, especially with the amount of games that are available to make it more exciting. So I do have a surprise for you guys though. I am giving away a Google Stadia from my friends from Verizon. They sent one to me. Um, I already have a Google Stadia, so I might as well give it out to you guys. All you have to do to enter to win is follow my link to my tweet, retweet, follow me there, and you are entered to win. I'll announce the winners on Twitter, so stay tuned. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments about xCloud or Stadia, or you want to check them out, use the links down below. Let me know what you think. But I think after two months, xCloud still has the lead. Thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.